am just here at Access Park. I've just come to pick up a cake. I'm just doing a quick campaign um, for a brand and then for Valentine's Day. So I'm just coming to pick up the cake that I'm going to shoot it this afternoon. Um, yeah, it's going to be quite, uh, I have quite a lot of things to do today. So it's going to be quite a juggling act to see how I'm going to do everything. Um, yeah, I need to like go get the cake. Then I need to go pick up my husband from the hairdresser, take him to work, go get some errands done then get myself like looking somewhat photo ready in case I need to be in some of the photos. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be a lot going on, but um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay guys, I'm home. Um, so this is the cake that I got. Uh, it's called Mozart, Caramel Mozart. Honestly, the packaging is so nice. Like if you having a birthday or if you're um, just needing it for any kind of occasion, it was so easy to just go into Access Park and you can obviously you can order it online and get it delivered. But if you are living in the kind of Kenilworth, Southern Suburbs area, then you, know, you would just go in and literally this was like ready. It was in the frozen section. So it does come frozen and then you leave it um, out of the fridge for if you're going to use it that day. Then you leave it out of the fridge for about an hour and a half. Or if you only need it the next day, then you keep it in the fridge overnight. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. I don't even know. I don't even want to eat this. It's so beautiful. Guys, this is the cake. <laughs> what it looks like on top. Oh my goodness. This looks insane. Okay, well, later when I shoot it, I'll show you like behind the scenes and like what it looks like inside and all of that. But that is amazing. That is definitely something... I could not do so it's definitely worth it so like I was saying it's definitely worth it because it's like I could probably bake a cake and do all of those things but it's not gonna look like that and I'm pretty sure it's not gonna taste the way that this is gonna taste so um, I think it's worth the price it's worth the convenience um, for what you're getting and um, it's a wow moment for if you're having a party that this is your cake um, because honestly this is like a work of art um yeah so i really would highly recommend um this is like not sponsored in any way like i know i'm doing a campaign with them but like they've in no way asked me to talk about it to an extent like this but so far i'm pretty impressed and i'm definitely going to be using them for any future things um and yeah i think it's great that the proof is in the pudding so i'll let you know in a couple of hours what it tastes like but i'm pretty sure that it's going to be good So it's been a few hours since I last checked in. I was just like an hour walk and got a few things that I needed there. And then I got my pants altered. I got some new pants. So I'm excited to show you those. Um, but they were just a bit like big and long. Um, I always have a long problem because I'm shorter. Um, yeah. And then now I'm at my friend's house and I'm going to get ready to do the shoot. Uh, we're just going to chat and... Um, do some work things um, before we do that but then the shoot will do and set that up and I'll maybe try and show you um, some behind the scenes of that just to see how much would go into um, something as what seems simple as taking pictures of a cake is um, but yeah I'll check in with you guys just now okay so I'm trying to style this um, sh shoot the cake um just so you can see behind the scenes this is what it's looking like um but for the shoot we're wanting it to obviously just be like this and get like the creamy white rustic vibes um but yeah i just thought i'd show you guys just a little bit of what's going to be happening and to get it looking to the final result <laughs>
so I just thought I would come on here and just kind of wrap up the vlog. Um, I don't remember. I think the last time I left you was on my Friday. And that was honestly such a lovely day. Um, such an amazing time spent with friends. Um, and then Saturday was just a really easy, chilled morning. Like, as you saw, I just kind of caught up on series and um, just took it easy. My husband went cycling, so that was just like some nice me time. And then later that day, we went and spent um, the rest of the day with um, some of our best friends. Um, we usually just yeah go out there. They live in Somerset West, so it's quite far from us. But we love spending time with them, and they are like probably some of the, the like the people that don't spend time on social media and on their phones and stuff like that, which is like so nice and refreshing for me. So I usually just put my phone down and I just have an amazing time with them so I did not film any of that but um, I really like enjoy that and enjoy just switching off and just spending quality time with them um, yeah and then we got home and just chilled and I just carried on watching um, the series that I'm into um, yeah so that was great then this morning um, which was pretty much the same uh, my husband went to work and then um, he's now currently cycling again because he's actually um, going to be doing the Argus this year. So he's like trying to train every single day um, and he couldn't do it last year because he fell off his bike. And so yeah, he was like really hurt in a bad way. So he couldn't do that. Um, so now he's all good and going to be doing that. So now while he's cycling, I am just getting done. And then I'm going to meet him at Constantia Eitzig and we're going to go and get sushi there and maybe a little sneaky ice cream. Um, and then, yeah, just end of the day, like just super chilled and um, spending time together. Um, yeah, and so on that note, I'll just leave you guys here and I'll show you what we get up to at Constantia Eitzig. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in the next one.